Hopefully the rain uh, will be gone next week that we don't see any remnants of rain because we have the Jazz Fest coming up. And joining me now is Indie Jazz Fest Artistic Director Rob Dixon. You see him with his tenor sax. I used to play tenor saxophone. Right. That's why okay. his tenor saxophone with us to talk Excellent. about, you know, this Jazz Fest that's been going on, like you mentioned, about 25 years 25 years, years. Yeah, yeah, since 1999. Yeah, yeah. so uh, we're excited. We, we uh, This is one of our biggest uh, festivals uh, to date, we have uh, the legendary Shaka Khan, 10 time yeah. Grammy Award winning vocalist, yeah. Michael Franks, uh, legendary jazz bassist uh, Marcus Miller, and yeah. Steve Ali and the Magic Hour Band. On the, That's all on the final day. And then running up to the final day, we have all these great uh, artists like Bria Schoenberg, uh, Amy Noviola, yeah. great uh, Cuban singer, and then uh, also. Um, Groups like uh, Mono Neon, mm -hmm. Steve Teray on trombone doing a t tribute to J.J. Johnson, Malcolm Jamal Warner doing a show, you know, the actor. So um, also uh, an event called Naptown Sound where we feature a lot of the Indianapolis-based uh, bands. Yeah. So it's going to be a great, it'll be a great uh, yeah, just festival. Yeah, bringing all of these just talented people right. together in, in one location. Yes. At the White River State Park. The White River, well, White River State Park, but then we have um, events running up to that mm -hmm. that are at uh, the Jazz Kitchen and at the Cabaret. Yeah. So, so yeah. And anyone, if you've never been to the Jazz Kitchen, please check it out because it is an oh, amazing yes. place to hear some some of the great, some of the great jazz musicians. Some of the, yeah, great concerts there. The, yeah. The, yeah, so we're looking forward to all of it. Yeah. So what does jazz music do for you? Um, I think it's, you know, it's just, a, for me, it's a very high uh, form of creative expression, you know, yeah. when I listen to it, when I play it, I mean, it's just, you know, um, the improvisational aspects of it, um, and it just feels like freedom, you yeah. know, so, you know, it's an American art form, and so the fact that <clears throat> there's a lot of freedom within the structure is, 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 is um, I guess, Mm -hmm. You know, I propose that it's American. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And right. it, it, it makes you feel, you know, a kind of way. Like right. when you all play music, when you play your saxophone, yeah. it, it evokes a feeling in, in a lot of us. Oh, yeah. I yeah. think it's very highly emotional music, but coupled with a very uh, uh, intellectual um, mm -hmm. you know, understanding of music as well. So I think it's kind of the best of both worlds. Yeah, yeah, agreed. Yeah. So people that want to come out to the Jazz Fest, we want to talk about tickets because it's not free. <laughs> we got to support our artists. So how can right. people get tickets? Ticket so tickets. to get tickets, all you have to go to IndieJazzFest.net, the website, okay. and you can find um, information, ticket information, or you can go to IndianapolisJazzFoundation.org. Okay. Or just Google Indie Jazz Fest. Okay. It's easy, and, and the ticket information will just show up. And, and we'll put more information on our website. Yeah. But Rob Dixon, thank you so much. We thank do you. have to